We had an exciting day yesterday in the workshop. Yeah, we happened. did. We did indeed. Another exciting day. Um, we had uh, Jadine Littlejohn came in from Edmondson's, who in association with Pete McGowan from Electrical Compliance and Safety, uh, have donated some tools to us here at the college uh, for the students to use. So we've got some lovely insulated screwdrivers. What we've got over there, guys? Yeah, pliers, side cutters, and the long nose pliers in that set there, Absolutely which are fantastic. fantastic, especially because you saw in one of my videos when I was just terminating the ends of a cable that yeah. even I struggle with the pliers here because they obviously smooth out worn. over a period of yeah. time. Yeah, they're worn. Yeah. We, we are great, you know, immensely grateful yeah. for these donations. Pete McGowan's been a friend of mine for probably the last 20 years. Yeah. He's gone on, nice he's got guy. his own business, yeah, real nice guy. So he sort of pushed to help us out on those, as long with Napit came in again, didn't they? Yes, they did, yeah. Just, uh, just when we thought the day couldn't get any better, uh, Richard Townsend turned up uh, and delivered our literally hot off the presses, yeah. uh, brand new Codebreaker 2 book, uh, which is uh, very exciting. Yeah. As I'm sure Gary will explain. Yeah, we're going to cut to a video where we chat a little chat with um, with Richard. Yep. Okay, so we're going to cut to that video next. And after that, you'll see the video that we had from Jadine. Uh, she's a bit shy about talking on camera, but she just went through the role of the wholesalers yep. and how it can help our students yep. and obviously as they progress potentially for working for themselves. Yep. Yep. Shall we see those videos? Let's have a look. So, Richard Townsend returns to Tresham College, Absolutely. the creator of the Code Breaker. Well, yeah. But it's already been created, I see. We've done it, we launched it last week. Uh, these are the first few off the press, the first few. The rest are gonna go to their pre-orders once we get the bulk back. But you've got the first few because wow. you were involved. So this is the second edition of the Code Breaker this book, the brand new release, edition, just been released. brand new. Uh, wow. We got the hands on those copies on Wednesday. We did the launch Thursday, Friday. Here we are Monday. Here are your copies. Wow. And that was at Sandown, wasn't it? You released was at Sandown. Sandown. We released at Sandown Alex last week. And they were going off the shelf like hotcakes, I think the uh, video said. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we had a good day. A uh, good couple of days. Yeah, they, they seem to be um, in demand, uh, which is good. As long as they help, I'm okay with that. So these are for uh, electrical installation condition reports. Yep. You come to an installation, you're yep. unsure whether it's C1, C2, further investigation, etc. The book has got how many examples approximately? There are 640 examples. <laughs> yep. So if you come up with an example that's not count? in the book, please write in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're being undated. That's yeah. a lot of examples. There's a lot of examples there. Um, we've since thought, oh, we haven't got this in. We haven't got that in. So. We're looking for more. So if nice. you've come across them and you think, well, I don't think we don't agree with that or anybody doesn't agree with that, if you write in, um, when we update it next time around, which will be a long time in the future, um, we're happy to include or modify in any way, shape or form. Happy I think days. you're being too polite though, because it covers a huge yeah. amount of um, yeah, material. There's a lot so, of yeah. other stuff in there. There's risk assessments, there's asbestos, Mm. Uh, covers uh, non BSN six seven one related issues. If you're doing a condition report, lots and lots of stuff in there. And there's a little bit on surge protection, etc. In there. Surge protection, them. art fault detection, RCD types. RCD types are really important yeah. now. If you've got to pick the right type of RCD, pick an AC RCD, and then have some kind of variable speed drive in the washing machine, the RCD is not going to see it, uh, and possibly you'll be left with an mm. installation without protection. So very very important yeah. to look at the RCD selection in the domestic premises now. Okay. Fantastic. That's good. And we're going to ask you to sign a couple of copies. That'll be my we'll copy. <laughs> <laughs> you can sign it for us, Richard. Where do you want me to sign? Across the, front, across the front, please. Yeah, please. There you okay. go. And we can you sign this one? one. Yeah, yeah, please. The one there. There you go. Absolutely fantastic. Wow. So again, a massive thanks not only to yourself, Richard, but to Napit as well for all the support you've given us over nope. the past six or seven months. It's been amazing. No. Nope. Well, I can't thank you enough for even wanting to be involved and in the information that you guys have given at both GSH and at Tresham. Uh, it's just phenomenal. Um, and thank you again. Oh, cheers, mate. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> right, so I've never done anything like this before. My job role in the electrical wholesalers, I normally go out, see the customers, see the site, see the job. I do a lot of um, lighting design. So if you're out and you have a building that needs to go from fluorescence, halogen to LED, that would be my job to come in. I would measure up the building itself, design as many lights as, as we see fit for the lumens and the lux to fit right for the actual building itself so that people can see to health and safety regulations in schools and colleges from off the table bases to the floors and everything else and in between it. Um, I also go around and make sure that everybody's happy, all my customers have exactly what they need and when and that it's there on time. A lot of wholesalers struggle to do that, however we have three vans at Emerson Electrical plus my own car which is the reps car so if one of my customers is late on something we will get it to our customer 
within two hours on that very same day if they need it there and then. So we're quite reliable in that respect. Does anybody know what they go to our electrical wholesalers for? Anybody at all? The answer is everything. From your boots to your trousers to your tops for work, your tools, your cable, everything and anything in between, even so much as your switches. We literally have everything. With an account at a wholesaler's, you get a 30 day term, so you get to pay it off within 30 days. You don't need to go with cash if you have an account. So you go with your account open and you basically tell them what you want. They'll get it for you if they have it there and then. If they don't, they'll order it in for you. To order something in, you look at it next day, nine times out of 10, if we have a good relationship with that supplier. Something a bit more difficult, maybe a week to two weeks, depending on if it's build purposes or if they have it already built for you. Um, I brought some cable with me. I don't know how much cable you use here or how much often. Have you seen yeah. sort of this size SWA? They should have done, yeah. So this is the kind of thing that we would stock. This would only ever come on a drum because you wouldn't want to carry more than two meters of that around. It's so heavy. You wouldn't want to. What we've done is we've stripped them all down with what they are so that you can see the cores in them. So if you wanted to come and have a look at the different varieties that we do, you're more than welcome to come over and have a look at them. This one's my favorite because it smells like skipping rope. I don't know why, but it reminds me of my kid. <laughs> That's why I love it. So you're more than welcome to come over and have a look at that. Do you have any questions at all regarding accounts or what wholesalers would do for you? Anybody at all? Could I go and get an account today? Could I just walk in yep. and get an account? Yep, you would just fill out a form there and then. Um, you'd need, if you're as a business, a letterhead just so that it proves your VAT number. If you have one, if you don't, it doesn't matter. They still need a letterhead with a logo um, and your bank details just to basically pass the credit checks. That's all that's for. It's not to take any money out. It doesn't cost anything to open an account. It doesn't cost you anything to keep your account open for however long you want it to. Could I walk in with cash and buy something? Yep, yeah, you can also do that as well. We take cash sales on the counter. Not always recommended because you wouldn't have the set terms. With an account, we would set your terms up. So if you came in quite often and bought some emergency lighting switches, we would put a term on that where you get the same discount every time you come in and we would know straight away that that's your account, that's what you get for this, and that's what you pay and no more. Questions, folks? What's your number one brand? Oh, click mode. Oh, we like click, we use click. Yeah. Everybody loves click mode, it's really good stuff. It's durable, um, the round corners, it looks nice, it looks neat, and a lot of our customers are more than happy to use that. Consumers unit, top brand for consumers. We use Crabtree here, what do you use? Hager. Hager, 100% Hager, because we have such a good buy-in uh, system with Hager, because we buy the, not just their, their panels in, we do their distribution, their commercial and their switch sets as well. We tend to do a really good deal at the moment on the Hagers, um, we can, so we do a 10-way board with eight breakers included for £65, oh, wow. so it's a really cheap deal at the moment. So when we're talking downlight as LED, there'll also be clicks... Um, no, oh. no, 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 no. Um, it's very different. See, people tend to go with the same, but we don't. We, we tend to stock a variety. So at the moment, our main downlighters, we've literally just changed to a company called Robus, which is LED Group, what? and they're from Ireland originally. They've now got a distribution centre in the UK, but they come with everything with a five-year warranty, and they are really, really good, high-quality products for the, the price that you pay. So we're finding that we're winning more jobs with these because they're cheaper to buy in, they're cheaper to sell at, and of course the quality of them is by far superior to most other wholesalers that we're competing with. So we find it quite easy. Any questions, Jens? So you look like you've got some extra stuff in front of you, is that correct? I have, yes. Um, what's happening with that extra stuff? We're basically giving this away to the college so that you can carry on learning and practicing free of charge. Um, I'd just like to add as well, uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but Edmondson's Electrical has over 250 branches in the UK. If you have your account open at Kettering, you can actually use that same account up in Scotland if you had a job up there. You could walk in and not pay for anything in Scotland. It would come as double booked as we call it, straight back to our own branch. But also we now own a sister company, which is uh, Electric Centre. And the same goes with them. You can use your electrical, 
the Edmondson Electrical Account at an electrical centre. So it's now about 450 branches across the UK that you have access to with one account in an Edmondson's branch. And one of your customers was a contact of mine, Pete McGowan? Yes, Pete McGowan got in contact with me from ECS and he asked me if we could donate anything to the college to which we get in touch with the suppliers and the suppliers of it were more than happy to give these away for us to come in and today and say hello. So that's a couple of decent contacts for us here. So Pete McGowan asked kindly Edmondson's and Edmondson's then asked the tool manufacturers if they would provide it and everybody said yes. Okay, so that's like being in education. When you're asked a question, we just say yes, <laughs> don't we? So the same here. They wanted to help and therefore we've now got some extra. Is our toolkit's good? Our toolkit's amazing? Are they? Then pliers and psychos you keep moaning about? Yeah, okay, so they look like they're going to be considerably better than the stuff we've got. Is anybody thinking of starting up their own business after the finishing here? Has anybody got that in their mind to do that? Another good thing about a big wholesaler is I was just telling um, Gary, so Gary, myself earlier, uh, Pete McGowan himself has been on with us on one of our many jollies, as we call them, to Dublin. Uh, so we went to Dublin with Pete McGowan for the weekend and we are going in April to Las Vegas. So we're taking for five nights uh, six of our customers to Las Vegas on a completely free jolly. Obviously, we're not paying for their bets, but most of the drink and the food and everything else will be included, as well as the flights and the hotels. So for those of you that are thinking of, of starting up on your own, if you get quite a good business, like Pete McGowan has done himself, because he's been invited, um, things like that are always on your doorstep with an electrical wholesaler. If you have a good relationship with them and you do sort of a lot of business through them, they'll, they'll also look after you back. So let's just, just to clarify that then, not only Pete is massively successful and I used to stand side by side with him chasing walls, one of us has gone on and got a multi-million pound business, the other one's this side of the camera, that's what he's done, but the more money you get, the more perks you get. So you spend a lot of money for your business and you get a free trip to Ireland. You spend a lot of money for your business, which is making you money, you get a free trip in this case to Las Vegas. There's a distinct correlation between being successful and being helped, isn't it? The more successful you are, the more people want to help you, the better the lifestyle. It's fantastic. Definitely. So, thank you.